I don't remember ever seeing a greater act of cowardice by a bunch of school trustees. Following a resolution by USC campus activists to rename Sims Hall, trustees voted Friday morning to send the matter to state lawmakers for consideration. All in favor, please say aye. 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 But taking the name down, Representative Todd Rutherford, who graduated from USC School of Law, says that can legally happen now. If, you, if they read the law, it's 10-1-165 if anybody has any questions. There is no provision in there for them to ask us to do anything. I told them earlier this week that all they could do under the law is remove Sam's name from the building. That is within the Heritage Act. They don't need to ask us. All they need to do is read. The law makes a distinction between monuments and structures. And monuments cannot be moved, cannot, the name cannot be removed, but structures, the name cannot be renamed or rededicated. It does not say that it cannot be removed. Renaming, as Rutherford said, must go through the General Assembly because of the Heritage Act. Resources State Representative Beth Bernstein, who would vote to approve a renaming, says she'd also support a Heritage Act reform. I think when it was enacted, it was before my time in the legislature, and it was also at a time when it was a compromise in order to get the Confederate flag off the dome. So I do feel um, strongly that we need to look at the Heritage Act and see what changes and amendments we can make. I think what they're doing is, as well as the, the Board of Trustees here at Clemson taking a, a much needed stand. State Representative Gary Clary says calls for renaming Confederate and pro-segregation monuments are happening more often now in South Carolina. But handling these matters, he believes, would be best at the local level. I believe that, that these issues that are they're going to be brought to the General Assembly, that they could be better made by the boards of trustees by the cities and counties where a lot of these decisions are going to be or these requests are going to be originating rather than the General Assembly to handle this. Lawmakers return to the State House next week to deal with nearly three billion dollars for the CARES Act. As I understand the rules, you know, we may not be in a position to take those up even if we wanted to. State Representative Micah Kasky says renaming the Sims building will most likely be addressed in 2021 since the legislature has formally adjourned for the year. We just had thousands of people in South Carolina diagnosed, thousands more diagnosed in the state with COVID-19. And I think symbols matter, but uh, keeping people alive today and now is, is, I think, more important. Wednesday, State Senate President Harvey Peeler said on Twitter, state leaders are busy dealing Dealing with the fallout from the coronavirus and with current social unrest. He tweeted, changing the name of a stack of bricks and mortar is at the bottom of my to-do list. And that's why this act of cowardice is even worse because they know nobody can answer this for another year while they continue to pay honor and homage to someone that operated on slaves without the benefit of anesthesia. Alicia Niavis, News 19, WLTX.